To say I had an abortion is to join a blood covenant. To become sister with the worst of our ilk. Sister with the one that held her five children to the liquid casket of a bathtub. Sister to the one that strapped hers in seat belts, sent the car skipping like rocks to drop in a lake. This is to say, I know how people will clutch their grace until I bring them an amulet of sorrow. Mm -hmm. How this hive expects all my cells turn regret. If not a baby, at least bring us the surrogacy of your shame. Mm -hmm. To say the word abortion is to say I am ashamed to think. A wound turned urn. It is to say I killed, died, and dead as I speak to you now. Even my teeth wish to flee my mouth, the leper of my gums. I must be liar, please. I say I'm not sad. To say I'm not sad is to say I am monster. I am heartless as tile, a physician's claw, a receptacle, a food made rancid by its own hand. Can you smell my stink, the rotting of me? To say, I called the clinic on a Tuesday night, made an appointment for Wednesday morning, is never to say I was 19. He was 19. Our teenage mothers began dissolving our futures in crack pipes when we were five. Never did he wash the dishes of American dreamers until his hands calloused. Never might wince at their touch. Never did a black girl's tuition for a better life is 14 hour work days plus classes, less the glass slipper fairy tale of an old man's semen, a stripper's pole, find her. Never that I almost chose an old man's semen. To say, when the nurse handed me a photo, a marble of tissue growing, I only asked if I would feel better when it was done. Is never to say we would have just been another thing for you to hate. A nigga baby food stamp tick, a fat lazy breeder, a deadbeat prison number, a white trash trailer hitch, a rape, a black boy with a gun and no daddy, a bitter exhausted nail holding up our own crucifixion, a thing to pity, to contain your own reigning self-esteem in. To say, when I climbed on the table and pulled my panties down, I cried for my best friend is to sever the stitch of shame. To let the milk of this choosing spill for me until I am fresh vessel. It is to unleash my hands bound in penance to the unhelpful, the watchers with only burrs to give, to say the doctor's face morphed to a soft cotton, but his voice was a crisp, still speculum, is to release the pigeon of truth from its cage so that it might return dove. To say that I could smell the 20 crimson shades of escape running down all the women's thighs in the recovery. 